group is not one you're going to have very often. But in general, today was the second unit doing some of the things, especially defensively, that you were talking about since Lake Charles, that that group has been able to do. Yeah, I think they came in and kind of settled us down and, you know, got us back to guarding at a normal rate. You know, first quarter, then scoring 35 and, you know, 21 in the first six minutes is obviously way too high. We just made them too comfortable. And the second unit kind of came in and picked up the aggressiveness and got us back into it at the end of that quarter. But, um, you know, other than that, first half of the first quarter, we defended pretty well. Our offense wasn't really clicking tonight, a little sloppy. and. We we're making shots, but relied on our defense and the second and third units got us back in. Right on the premise that you have seen that in the second group on occasion through this last two weeks. Yeah, I think there's a, a good contrast from that we can switch up to with our second unit. Um, you know, we got a lot of uh, similar sized bodies that can get out and switch and be a little more aggressive on the perimeter, and I think they did that when they came in. But um, you know, we want to have a better start, obviously, with our first first group of starters, and and whether shots are falling or not, we got to rely on our defense a little bit better than we did in the first quarter. How do you think the refs kind of impacted the flow of this game? It felt like there was some kind of chippiness going on on both sides a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it was some touch fouls and they let you play through some, so it was a little bit of you got to adjust to how they're calling it. Um, you know, they, they would let you play through a few and then they call it some quick one. So for us, we got in the bonus too early in a lot of those quarters. Um, few plays where we were fouling, picking up full court unnecessarily to put them at the line. So just some stuff that we can obviously get better at. And, you know, some of our, our youth showed up tonight in those, in those instances, but um, still they came in and did a great job. And uh, when I told them let's play through it, um, let's not be the team to be out there crying and adjust to how the refs are calling the game. There was a moment early in the third quarter around the nine minute mark, you subbed out Al P for possession and put him right back in. What was that, what was the message to him during that little quick substitution? You know, slow down and let, you know, take a deep breath and let the game come to you. He was rushing the shots. Um, it's one of his switches. He was way too aggressive on a non-shooter. He jumped out when uh, Kelvin Johnson got the split to the basket for the dunk. And so, you know, just wanted to get him out and tell him to calm down. And, you know, he missed a few passes on the offensive end. So sometimes it's good to get a guy out and get their, get their attention and get him right back in. So um, just wanted to get his attention there, really sit there and talk to him for a second and got him right back in for Jeff. And how did you see him kind of from that moment on the rest of the game? How did you see him kind of respond to that from you? I think his focus was better. Um, you know, he, I, he felt like he was rushing. He felt like he had an advantage on the offensive end, but was rushing some of the shots. And from, for me, what I told him was with the rest of the group is when your offense isn't flowing, you got to find other ways to impact the game. And, and, you know, still do it on the defensive end, not let shots dictate you know, the rest of your game. So, you know, I felt like a few guys did that tonight. You know, guys were missing some shots with Jabari as well. And, and, they still got to continue to play through those. It, oh, sorry, I have one more. That's okay. Uh, it felt like Zach Collins kind of got to whatever he wanted to tonight at, at certain points. Is that just an unfortunate side effect of, of leaning so heavily into a switch everything scheme, or was it specific issues in how guys were switching or not sending a second man to him, that kind of stuff? No, it w there's going to be residuals from, from switching, and, and obviously there will be some cross matches, but we feel comfortable with our big wings guarding a lot of posts in the league, but you don't want to just stand behind a guy when he has two feet in the paint. You know, you know, we worked on post defense and getting around, make him throw a lob pass and fight him off the block. And uh, but that's what I showed three clips at halftime of him just getting guys and burying them under the basket. Any, any big in the league when they have two feet in the paint and can take a one dribble hook shot is going to make you pay. And so our, our coverage is so more so poor in that. Uh, something we worked on, but we'll have to hit again for sure. Yeah, I'm kind of the same thing. There were a couple possessions again in that first half. We were like four or five dribbles in post-ups uh, after a switch. I assume you want somebody to come help after a few dribbles there. And is that something that just It depends on who the, person, who the personnel is. Um, obviously, there are legitimate low post scores in the league. I don't feel like Collins is one of those guys that should be able to hurt us to that extent. But um, so if it's Dylan or Jabari and those guys, they got to fight a little bit better, push him out initially. Even if he has four, three, four dribbles, um, we feel comfortable with our guards getting underneath him contesting them similar to the way they did with Valanciunas the other night. Um, but it was a little bit too easy, caught it too deep, and whether he had three or four dribbles to one, uh, the defense wasn't up to par initially, got to do your work early. A man and Cam both managed to score a team high 15 tied with each other off the bench in this game, and a man even hitting a couple threes in this one. Overall, just kind of what did you see out of them and kind of the poise, especially from that group at the end of the game that was able to close it out? Yeah, those guys are aggressive, um, come in extremely aggressive and ready to play. I think they sparked us for sure tonight. Um, 
you know, like we were a little sluggish to start, and they came in and gave us an athletic and, and pace boost out there. And so those guys have been confident, and that's the reason they were obviously high first round picks. Um, but proud of the third unit for coming in and settling us down and really guarding them that last quarter. It started with the second group to hold that team to 13 in the third and the fourth quarter. You know, I think it was 39, 36 to 13 in that quarter. Obviously, did a great job, but started with the defense and they got out, ran, and got a lot of easy baskets. But um, for our young guys, they all play with energy, extreme confidence, and on nights where we're a little sluggish, we're going to need that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.